Today's scripture reading is Galatians 6, 2 and 1 Timothy 4, 12. Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and conduct and love and faith and purity. May the Lord bless our reading and understanding of these words. I just want to say congratulations to everyone who was baptized today. It is truly a momentous occasion in one's life. I remember my own baptism, as I'm sure many of you all remember yours. And I just want to say, give them a round of applause. When Pastor Susan asked me to speak, I didn't realize I was doing the message. I thought I was just going to be going up to like, the table, like doing communion and giving a few words. And then I came and I saw that I was doing the message. And I was like, oh, I'm doing the message. So now I'm here talking about my testimony. And I've been at the church since I was about in second grade. So I don't know if any of you guys remember Reverend Sue or Reverend Beth. But those were my pastors at first. And they were, and Reverend Susan baptized me. And Sue Rankin, I don't know if any of you guys remember her, but she was my mentor. And her and I had a very deep, thoughtful, faith talk conversations that I now share with Pastor Susan and Di Diana. And through my time at the church, I've learned that the church's commitment to fostering relationships is very evident among the people that have been here at this church. For instance, with the youth, they have installed a wanting to go to church camp. I remember going with Luke and Lizzie and um, Abigail, Teresa, and I remember all of us going, and while the church camp had a lot of faith, active, faith, um, faith activities, there were a lot of non-faith activities too that brought us all together to bond us and build relationships not only among the people that we knew, but also other students who were within the Disciples of Christ Church. And within our own church, I remember Pastor Diana, she would set youth lock-ins where we would all come together and play games like sardines where we had to go run around the church and try to find each other. And I remember we were like, there were a lot of people stuck under a stairwell and nobody could find them. So then they started making rail noises so people could find them and then the game ended. And so that was a really good memory that I have that I'm sure all of you guys have within the church. That was good memories. And to get a little bit more serious, the conversations with the people I have here are instrumental. I just had lunch with Pastor Susan, for instance, on the other day, and she gave me a cross that was from Jerusalem to pray with. And those relationships and connections you build go a long way. It's not just, oh, hi, I can talk to you again, but it's also we can build with each other and build a relationship and give each other things that we need or that we um, need help with. And even as I went away, to the Craft Academy, which is down at Moorhead State University. The church was still a huge part of my life as I maintained my relationships with the people here and they continue to de demonstrate their unwavering support. And this can be seen through like the care packages that um, the church sent, which was these nice little cards with like a little treat sometimes. And the letters of recommendation that I received from Pastor Susan and Diana when I was applying to colleges. So it shows that the church is not just an institution, but it is a family that will be with you from day one until the end. And they will be there to support you throughout your entire life as long as you are within the church and you support them. And the unwavering generosity and love exhibited by them has significantly strengthened my resolve to uphold an enduring connection with the community and has taught me to give back as they have given to me and I'm sure all of us give back in many ways, such as the musical team, the worship and wonder, the food distribution. And when you give back to your community, you get to learn more about it and get to know the people more. And just all of my experiences that I'm telling you here today have been nothing short of transformative. Remind me of the immeasurable blessings that I received from being part of such a spiritual community. So thank you.